Today we are going to discuss an interesting topic that has not received as much attention as it deserves. We are talking about reversible computation and its significance in making classical computation more energy efficient. As we all know, artificial intelligence, general AI, GPT, and quantum computation are the buzzwords of the tech industry. These fields have gained a lot of hype and attention over the years. However, there is one field that is not getting the attention it deserves, and that is reversible computation. It is worth noting that reversible computation is the backbone of AI and general AI. Despite this fact, reversible computation has received little attention compared to AI and general AI. It is strange that the technology that powers all AI has not received the hype that AI has. Without reversible computation, the AI industry would not be as advanced as it is today. Reversible computation is a computing paradigm in which every operation can be undone. This means that if we apply a computation to a given input, we can always get back the original input by applying the inverse computation. This approach to computation is fundamentally different from classical computation, which is based on irreversible operations, and therefore results in the loss of information. Let's take the example of adding two numbers. In classical computation, when we add two numbers, the operation is irreversible, meaning that we cannot get back the original numbers from the result of the addition. For instance, if we add 3 and 4, we get 7. But if we only have the result 7, we cannot know which two numbers we added to get that result. Let's take a quick trip down memory lane and explore the history of reversible computation. Reversible computing was first proposed by Charles H. Bennett in the 1970s as a way to address the fundamental limitations of classical computing, which produces irreversible operations and loses information. Over the next few decades, researchers made significant strides in developing reversible logic gates and circuits. In the early 2000s, Eric Fredkin and Thomas O. Toffoli proposed a theoretical framework for reversible computing, which established the foundations for modern reversible circuit design. In recent years, reversible computing has gained renewed interest due to its potential for significantly reducing energy consumption in computing. Researchers are now exploring the use of reversible computing in various fields, such as quantum computing, cryptography, and AI. As previously mentioned, one of the major benefits of reversible computation is its energy efficiency. This implies that reversible computation has the capacity to transform the computing industry by greatly diminishing the energy consumption needed to carry out computations. Although reversible computation is still a relatively new concept and not yet widely used in practical applications, there are some areas where it is already being used. One example is in cryptography, where reversible logic gates and circuits are used in the design of encryption algorithms. Reversible computation allows for the creation of more secure and efficient cryptographic systems by minimizing the loss of information during the encryption and decryption process. Another area where reversible computation is being explored is in the development of quantum computing. The basic operations of quantum computing, such as quantum gates and quantum circuits, are reversible by nature. This means that reversible computation plays a fundamental role in the design and implementation of quantum computing systems. Furthermore, reversible computation is also being researched in the context of molecular computing. Researchers are studying the use of mechanical and molecular systems that perform reversible computations as a means of achieving ultra-low energy consumption for future computing devices. Reversible computation has the potential to significantly impact the field of AI by enabling more energy-efficient computation. One example of this is in the design of deep learning algorithms, which are widely used in AI applications such as image recognition, natural language processing, and robotics. Deep learning algorithms require massive amounts of computation and data processing, which can be computationally expensive and energy-intensive. Reversible computation can help to reduce the energy consumption of these algorithms by making the computation more efficient. In addition, reversible computation is also being studied in the context of neuromorphic computing, which is an approach to AI that seeks to mimic the structure and function of the human brain. 
Neuromorphic computing relies on the use of neural networks, which are networks of interconnected neurons that perform computations. Reversible computation can be used to design more efficient neural networks by minimizing the loss of information during the computation process. This can help to reduce the energy consumption of neuromorphic computing systems and make them more practical for real-world applications. Furthermore, reversible computation is also being researched in the development of hardware for AI applications. For example, researchers are exploring the use of reversible logic gates and circuits in the design of energy-efficient AI chips and processors. In summary, reversible computation has the potential to make AI more energy-efficient by enabling more efficient computation and minimizing the loss of information during the computation process. As AI continues to advance, reversible computation is likely to play an increasingly important role in the development of energy-efficient AI systems. Despite its promising potential, reversible computing still faces challenges in terms of circuit design, memory usage, and practical implementation. Here are a few examples. 1. Hardware design. One of the major challenges in reversible computation is designing hardware that can perform reversible operations efficiently. While reversible logic gates and circuits have been proposed, they can be difficult to implement in hardware and can be slower than classical logic gates. 2. Complexity of algorithms. Reversible algorithms can be more complex than classical algorithms, which can make them more difficult to design and debug. This complexity can also make it harder to optimize and parallelize computations, which can impact performance. 3. Memory requirements. Reversible computations can require more memory than classical computations, which can be a challenge for systems with limited memory resources. 4. Limited practical applications. While reversible computation has many potential benefits, there are still relatively few practical applications where it can be used. This can make it difficult to justify the investment required to develop and optimize reversible algorithms and hardware. 5. Error correction. Reversible computations are susceptible to errors, which can impact the accuracy and reliability of the computations. Developing error correction techniques for reversible computations is an active area of research. Overall, while reversible computation has many potential benefits, there are also several challenges that need to be addressed before it can be widely adopted in practical applications. As we mentioned before, designing reversible circuits that are both efficient and practical is a challenging task. Additionally, reversible computation requires more memory than classical computation, which can be a limiting factor in some applications. However, as research in this area continues, it is likely that these challenges will be overcome, and reversible computation will become an important tool for achieving more energy-efficient computing. Moreover, these challenges should not overshadow the enormous potential of reversible computation. In the long run, reversible computation could be the key to solving some of the most significant challenges faced by the computing industry, such as energy consumption, scalability, and reliability. In conclusion, reversible computation is a promising field that has not received as much attention as it deserves. It is time that we start paying attention to this field and recognize its enormous potential. Nonetheless, the future of computing seems to be heading in the reversible direction. So there you go. Thanks for watching, and if you like our videos, please subscribe.